1963, there were no cases of paralytic poliomyelitis. And only three babies got ophthalmia near Natorum. And only three grown-ups got erysipelas. But 23 people got cymotic enteritis and 63 caught dysentery. Ugh. <laughs> the old jokes are the best, Dad. I did not give you leave to enter. <coughs> I decided I could wait till that cough blows the door off its hinges, or I could breach the ramparts with some linctus. It is the great silence. I cannot converse with you. You don't need to converse with me, sister. You just need to swallow a spoonful of this. Sister, we've lived cheek by jowl long enough for me to know when you're putting on a show to beat Sarah Bernhardt and when you're truly unwell. It'll be Dr Turner for you if we can't head this off at the pass. I receive it, only to indulge you. Oh. You would doubtless prefer it replaced by the rustle of burgeoning mushrooms while your mold pills leach their spores throughout my lymphatic system. And the notion of penicillin has been roundly rejected. Overall, our patient appears to be improving. Could you say again, please? Uh, yes, yes, of course, thank you. Goodbye. Uh, that was Nurse Anderson. Do you need me to put your tea on hold? Oh, no, but Claris Milgrove has had a fall. I think she's reached the stage where she'll need help if she's to stay in her own home. Oh, dear. <sighs> Sorry, Timothy. Mathematics revision. There's a test on Monday. Think you'd have more quiet upstairs? It's Teddy's nap time. Ah. Oh. No, it's not ideal having to share a bedroom. It's just about bearable. But if I'm not going to humiliate myself on Monday, I could do with a bit of quiet. Absolutely. There is an easier way to do that equation. Thank you. Enter. Excuse me, sister. I found a refugee on the doorstep, and I'm not quite sure what to do with him. Good evening, sister. I wondered if you might be able to find me a quiet corner. I need to study and I'm finding it hard to concentrate. Certainly. I have chores to do. You could use my desk. Gosh, thank you. Take as long as you need. I don't imagine having three little ones in the house is conducive to peace and quiet. It's not the little ones who are the problem. Do you suppose we'll be rolling out barbed wire between the beds? If they keep ignoring each other, there won't be any need. That's it, Mr. Barton. Support the head. Head. Little splashes. You don't want to cause a flood. <laughs> what do you do when water gets in it? You just pull its leg off and pull. <laughs> Although I wouldn't try that on an actual baby. <laughs> Nurse Anderson, from the first moment I encountered you, I sensed. A spirit, free, fearless. It would pain me to think your time spent within these hallowed walls had rendered you earthbound. You were listening, sister. I was in the vicinity, and words floated to my ears. Oh. Oh. I promised to bring that nice young man a cup of tea. 
but I suddenly feel weary. I must rest. Oh, perhaps you, you could oblige. Oh. <laughs> Yes, Mr. Sharp, it's me, and you sound fairly alive to me. Look, it's best not to make a fuss. Children are resilient, and in the long run, memories of this age will be very hazy. Really? I remember falling out of my cot when I was two. I've decided that we need to look to the future. The maternity home needs its own incubator. I'm launching a fundraising drive, and the first event is going to be a dance called the Ballroom of Hope. Are you booking the Hammersmith Palace? No, the Institute. Eat your eggs. <laughs> uh, when pastures fresh beckon and new dawns the light, don't rush to be active and pick up the fight. Instead, rest and be thankful you're now almost hale. But let friends support you. Remember, you're frail. I take it this is patience strong. No. I wrote it myself. Oh. Mrs. Turner, you can't climb a ladder in court shoes. I actually appear to be doing so perfectly efficiently. Oh, hello, you. <laughs> <laughs> now, let me see if I've got this right. Uh, you're Teddy, you're May, and you're Angela. <laughs> oh, no, no. Oh, oh, silly Santa. You're Angela. And your mate. <laughs> oh. But what do you want for Christmas? Hmm? Just... You want Mummy and Daddy to get out of bed and put some clothes on? If we're half a mile past that phone box, we must have come to our left turn by now. Have we missed the turning? Perhaps. I always read my maps upside down. It's an absolutely infallible way of working out left and right. Oh. If you're going to slow to a dead stop every time a specimen of the local wildlife holds into view, we won't attain our objective this side of Christmas. I've got three packets of gypsy creams in my hold. Do you think it's time to break them open? Oh, oh. Oh. That's it. Hand this vehicle over. I have additional keys and I am prepared to use them. Sister Hilda, do you consider my mental faculties to be diminished? That wasn't why I didn't show you the card. You can see it if you like. Oh, I, I, I would not be able to deduce why something is vulgar or amusing. My faculties always failed me in that department. Senior sisters are licensed to draw down from the petty cash, but I have not been allowed to do so for some time. I am overturning that. Now. Do you hear me? Sister, do you consider me to be of sound mind? Yes. <laughs> May, watch out for Teddy on those steps. Sister Frances, might I have a word? We've just come to bathe baby Jesus and glue his arm back on so he's ready for the crib at Christmas. I have been following the officers with my breviary. It's not the following of officers that concerns me. Since, according to your own admission, I am deemed to be of sound mind, when did you say you thought she was of sound mind? When she implored me to. I replied in the affirmative because it seemed the kindest thing. I have made the decision to travel to the Hebrides independently. 
independently is underlined. I know it's underlined. Please do not trouble your conscience or the constabulary. I will trouble the constabulary. I'm going to give them this as evidence. She won't get very far without any money. She's taken a pound note and some loose change out of the petty cash. With my permission. Oh, you must feel terrible. I wanted her to have some dignity. She's always got dignity. What she really wanted was to see a stag. But why would she go to the Hebrides? There are stags in Richmond Park. She wanted to see a white one. She believes she might encounter Jesus Christ that way. Oh. oh, don't tell the police that. They'll think she's going mad. Or that you are. I don't care. I'm calling them now. I'm insisting that they alert their counterparts in Scotland. Why didn't you put your wellies on? Because we are heading to town to collect a significant quantity of drugs, vaccines and other medical supplies. And I'm of the view that office wear is more appropriate. 